You might be wondering if you need a belt for CrossFit. I get this question a lot, especially lately. I've had a lot of people that are starting to move some bigger weights, wondering, hey coach, should I get a belt? What kind should I get? When should I wear it? So I'm gonna shoot this quick video just to give you guys a real brief answer to that. Um, first belt I wanna talk about, this is just a Rogue basic belt, it's a soft belt. And if you are looking for just a little bit of support, uh, something to kind of help breathe and brace into for CrossFit. I think something like this is not only affordable, um, but actually probably ideal. So Rogue makes some, you can get them at places like Shields and, and Dick's Sporting Goods, and they're, they're really easy to get. Uh, there's also Tupud makes a soft belt that's a little more heavy duty if you're starting to lift bigger. Uh, that's a really good option. I think that's actually the official belt of the CrossFit games. So soft belt for most CrossFitters is gonna be appropriate. Not something you have to wear every day, but those days when you're going heavy, if you're starting to get into those intermediate levels or advanced levels, it can be uh, just a good way to get some feedback as you brace to make sure you're locking in your core to help protect your spine. The belt won't do the work for you, it's there as a tool to support. Next one we'll talk about, this is a heavier duty, I think it might actually be called the Rogue Belt. Uh, I've had this one for maybe a decade or more and they still have the same belt today. Uh, this thing's like a lifer. This thing's thick leather, 10 millimeters. And when you pick one, uh, be sure to get the sizing right because you probably don't want to buy a, a second one just like this. This can also be good for CrossFit. I mainly use this for heavy squat days, deadlift days, some Metcons, but uh, be aware that as you get into these heavier duty belts, they're less ideal for Olympic lifting. You can catch your bar coming by the buckles and they're a little bulkier. So they're starting to shift more towards like a power lifting belt and just the, the rarest occasions, maybe when you're doing the CrossFit total or a one rep max day, uh, probably not your daily grinder kind of belt, but this would be kind of a medium heavy belt that if you're really serious about CrossFit and you're really serious about weightlifting or you just like to have a nice belt, um, something like that is great 10 millimeter leather belt. Final one I'm gonna go over, this one I do not recommend for CrossFitters. This is what's called a lever belt. And the lever belt actually hooks on and does exactly what it sounds like. There's a lever that locks you in. So this huge mechanism here is gonna be totally in the way for most things you do in CrossFit. You don't wanna hit a bar on this metal piece, but they use them in powerlifting and they're still legal for raw powerlifting. Uh, which is why I have this belt, uh, just for powerlifting. And it locks you in, there's really no breathing. So if you're doing a Metcon, it's not a, good, uh, not a good belt for that. But if you're just building up for one rep max, singles of squat, deadlift, it is great for that. This is a 13 millimeter leather belt, no wiggle room, no give, digs in, might even leave some bruises. I don't recommend leather belts for CrossFitters, but uh, or I should say lever belts, uh, but something like this or this could be exactly what you're looking for.